The disco of the 1970s was a big, loud, glittery communal experience of music and dance. It was Donna Summer and Gloria Gaynor and the Bee Gees and Kung Fu fighting. And then it was gone. But today, disco is making a bit of a comeback with a modern twist. And you might just see it at one of those weddings you're dressing up for this summer. Morgan is back now to explain in our Sunday Spotlight. In through your nose. High above New York City on a hotel rooftop overlooking the Manhattan skyline. Inhale here. These 500 yogis are finding peace within. Let it go as you exhale. But in less than an hour, this moment of Zen will transform into something completely different. A daybreak dance party that's been given the silent treatment. Or so you think. There's nothing else that could get me up out of bed, but it's honestly the best way to start the morning. And we're going to work after this. You're going to work after this? Yeah. It's unbelievable that so many people want to get up that early to have this experience. Pastel Valer Couturier is the founder of Sound Off one of several companies that brings so-called silent disco events like these to cities across the globe. What is a silent disco? So a silent disco is a dance party with wireless headphones. What's really special about the headphones is that it creates a really immersive experience. I like to think of the experience as though you're singing in the shower, you're singing in the car. There's no inhibitions, and so you're just purely enjoying the music. While discos have been around for decades, they didn't go silent until the 90s, when music festivals handed out headphones with radio technology to avoid late night noise complaints. These days, the trend is getting a reboot from brides, becoming a popular feature at weddings like Sanjin and James, newlyweds who wanted a unique way to keep the party going all night long. We've been to so many weddings, like we just wanted to do I've never sweated this much at a wedding before. It's so much fun. I can't wait to get back to this. Even better, the headphones aren't limited to one channel of audio, meaning that wedding guests can choose which genre and which DJ they prefer. You can have EDM and hip hop for your friends and, and have, you know, 70s and 80s and Motown for your parents. So this way, there's people on the dance floor at all times. Today, the popularity of silent discos, which still attract crowds in regular club events, have companies like New York-based Quiet Events expanding into new markets, including fitness, cruises, and even Absolutely free babysitting. Because at this side of disco, the kids own the dance floor, while the parents kick back. So they get that chance to have a, have a drink, and they get to kind of just hang out, and we just completely keep them entertained for at least four to five hours. And by the time you know, lunch time is done, they're pretty much ready for a nap. Headphones, they want to be left alone. This seems like the opposite. Yeah, music connects people, regardless of what genre you're into. Good music brings people together. I can hear people cheering. Yes, they're <laughs> still yes, going they off. In our overconnected world, tuning in doesn't have to be <laughs> Oh, Morgan, I have so many questions for you right now. So I love your moves, first of all. Can I teach you how to move like no, Jagger? No, you don't want that from me, you trust me. Ready? But I like you're actually conducting hey. a real interview while doing the moves, which was very impressive. I, I appreciate that. But from the outside, it looks odd because if you have a bunch of people <laughs> dancing to Does different really? music, is it a communal experience? What was it like for you? It actually is because, full disclosure, on my personal time, I have been before. You have? <laughs> oh, I've definitely been before. And oh. it's actually very freeing because people are, have such reckless abandon that they're more connected because they're so... Happy to be there. I sort of like it. So you're a big so day, are you coming daytime with raver? Is that your thing? I Rooftop mean, raves? After Sunday Today Show. <laughs> Never before, Willie. Brunch and a rave with Morgan Radford. Morgan, thanks so much.